Hello students, in this video we'll discuss the de Moivre Laplace method, or a version of the central limit theorem, for approximating binomial random variables with normal random variables. If we assume that x1, x2, xn are independent trials, with success probability p and failure one minus p then if I consider this ratio over here, if I look at x1 plus x2 plus xn, that is the sum, and this will tell me, this will output the number of successes or the number of failures being zero. If I subtract off n times p, because if the probability of success is p and the failure is 1 minus p, if we consider success as being a 1 and failure as being a 0, then the expected value of any one of these random variables will simply just be p. So this will be n times the expected value. And then I divide by the square root of n times p and then 1 minus p. That's the p times 1 minus p is the variance of one of these random variables. And so this is the normalized standard deviation. If I consider the probability that that ratio is between a and b, I will know as n goes to infinity, this will converge to phi of b minus phi of a, where phi is the CDF of a standard normal random variable. And so what this result is known as is this is the de Moivre Laplace theorem. And it's very useful because it provides us with a way of doing, using a continuity correction for a normal random variable. So this will be the continuity correction. binomial random variable. So for example, what I have here is I have x1 plus x2 plus xn. What we have is we have a binomial distribution for that. And I have the mean of that and the variance of that. So we can say that this binomial, when n is large, if the number of trials is large, then I can approximate the probability that a binomial random variable is a particular value by using a continuity correction. So we'll see how to do that. So what we'll do is if we wish, so if x is binomial, n and p, and n is large, then We can compute the probability that x is equal to i by saying that this is approximately the probability that x is between i minus 1 half and i plus 1 half. And if we can subtract off n times p and divide by this, we write this as the probability that i minus 1 half is less than or equal to. And if we subtract off the n p, 
So what we'll do is we'll subtract off n times p, divide by the square root of n p 1 minus p, less than or equal to x minus n p over the square root of n p 1 minus p, less than or equal to i plus 1 half minus n p over the square root of n p 1 minus p. And now the central, this de Moivre Laplace tells me that this is approximately, is approximately phi of the top limit, and the top limit will be i plus one half minus n p over the square root of n p one minus p minus phi of i minus one half minus n p over the square root of n p one minus p. So whenever we're doing problems like this, we can identify what n times p is. That will tell me the mean. I can identify n times p times 1 minus p. That will give me the variance. And I can write down the normalization and use this approximation, the difference of these two values of the CDF of a no standard normal random variable. And that will give me the continuity correction, or the approximate probability that the binomial random variable with parameters n and p is equal to i. Thank you very much.